uh, a Blue Yeti Nano sound like a Shure SM7B, but you can make it sound better than what it is and make it filter out the background noise and all that stuff so that it is the best version of your mic. All right, you guys want to talk about some Streamlabs stuff? <laughs> okay, so for context, Streamlabs is one of the biggest players in the streaming software game. They started out as Twitch alerts. So that's the whole thing when someone follows the channel and you see the, oh, Jet followed your channel and there's a, there's a GIF or something. They were one of the first players in that space and they became very popular in that regard. And a lot of streamers use it as their go-to notifications platform. Up until this stream right now, I have been using Streamlabs for alerts for almost the entirety of my streaming career. And they, they are not the most honorable company in the universe. Now, uh, this has recently come, come like been brought forth with the announcement from Streamlabs that they are partnering with Twitch to release some software called Streamlabs Studio, which is a software that allows Xbox users to stream to Twitch from their console with overlays and this this is great right uh be a lot of one of the biggest hurdles for streaming is that you need a computer you need to buy a capture card like it's a lot it's a big investment right i i spent a lot to build this thing and if you're telling me that we could have done it without any of this stuff well i'd probably still get the computer but uh it, bringing the bar down to streaming while you know also improving the presentation of console streams which historically has been terrible great right right uh the big problem here th this software already exists it's called lightstream and uh not only <laughs> did twitch you know in large part copy lightstream at least from a con conceptually i don't know how much of the code they've taken of the actual software uh but you look at the marketing page for streamlab studio on the right which they just released and lightstream's actual website they've had for years on the left uh yep you might see a lot of similarities here <laughs> in terms of sure Look, Streamlabs said, okay, we're going to put a circle here instead of a rectangle. We're going to change the sizes of the boxes here a little bit. Um, the headings are the same. The the content structure is the same. Uh, even the quote, this is not a great picture, but the user, the reviews here, the testimonials are word for word, exactly the same. So not only did you copy the program, uh, you you copied the entire site and, and you, yeah, and you just tweaked it to, in hopes that you could tweak it just enough so that you, people didn't realize you, you just ripped off this site. And like even I'd, I'd read that like the privacy policy and the terms of use stuff, word for word, exact copies off the Lightstream site. Oh yeah, this, this, this is like, straight up plagiarism here this this is bad there is a a level of you know imitation the sincerest floor of flattery and riffing off stuff but no they literally copy pasted this site and then tweaked it just enough in hopes that we wouldn't see what they had done but they left way too many obvious things in there right like the the reviews they just switched the name from Lightstream to streamlabs um at which point you know, Streamlabs responded by saying, we made a mistake. Text on the landing page was placeholder text that went into production by error. This is our fault. We removed the text as soon as we found out. Our intended version is now live. Lightstream team is great, and we've reached out directly to apologize. Don't don't believe the placeholder text thing. Don't. That's, that's not placeholder text, right? I, I work as a user experience designer lorem ipsum is my life i may i draw the boxes and then i put this this latin text lorem ipsum delor sitamet and these long paragraphs of text that don't mean anything into my designs when i don't have words to put in them yet this is what placeholder text looks like it is here to literally just hold the place to know that there is text there 
This is not placeholder text. This, what Streamlabs has done is literally rip off Light Lightstream. So th this is crap. What what they their apology is crap. They 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 just got caught red-handed. And this is not the first time, and maybe not even the scummiest thing that Streamlabs has done. Um, a lot of people probably wonder when they get into streaming, there's a program called OBS and a program called Streamlabs OBS. OBS came first. It is an open source program that developers from around the world have been collaborating on to make it the best streaming and video recording software in the business. I, I wholeheartedly swear by it and recommend it to everybody. Streamlabs uh, went out of their way to copy OBS, like take the source code because it's open source and anyone can is free to download it and add to it. Uh, they added their own features and functionality to it. And then they, they gated a bunch of stuff that you have to pay for on top of it. And they said, you know, we want to use the name OBS in our, our, our software, our version of OBS. OBS said no. And Streamlabs ignored them and then filed the trademark for Streamlabs OBS. Despite the fact that they did not make the original software, they went through the courts to go and trademark that name. As you can see here from their tweet, near the launch of Slobs, Streamlabs reached out to us about using the OBS name. We kindly asked them not to. They did so anyway and followed up by filing a trademark. We've tried to sort this out in private and they have been uncooperative at any, at every turn. Furthermore, <laughs> you're seeing a pattern here, right? Elgato replied to the copy thing and they said, know that feel and which the headline control your stream from your phone with Streamlabs stream deck. Oh, you mean like the Elgato stream deck program on the phone? And they used, they stole the exact same name. Oh, it doesn't even end there. There's more. There's other stuff I don't even have pulled up here. Uh, Stream Elements put out a merch store and the key functionality of it is you can just drag and drop like designs and then pop it on the shirt. Uh, later on, Streamlabs has basically the exact same thing. There, the entirety of Streamlabs as a business has has been to just uh, take other people's good ideas and rip them off and put, put monetize them as much as they can. A lot of this is free, free software or works created by others. And then they, they take it and they tweak it a little bit. And then they put uh, a lot of it behind a paywall so that you pay for these features. And in a lot of cases, they're not even the best ones. Streamlabs OBS is inherently a, and it will always be a worse version of OBS because they have to wait for OBS to put out the new version before they can copy it. And on top of that, they put their own software on top of it. So Streamlabs OBS always runs worse, always has less features, right? There's a bunch of stuff that I do on this stream that I, I can, it is technically impossible to do in Streamlabs, which is part of, part of why I've, I don't use Streamlabs. And this is before factoring in the fact that this is a super scummy company that, that cannot be trusted and is not worthy of our, our time and effort or money. And the whole thing about the, if you donated to a streamer through the Streamlabs thing, I need to take that donation page down too, actually. Um, by default for a time, they had the, the check mark on that subscribed you to their $100 a year premium service. And then they, when people complain, they're like, oh, sorry, you're not getting a refund. Nah, they, they just, they just took your hundred bucks. So this, this is not a company that we, <laughs> I want to associate with anymore. And so I've removed stream the last remnants. I think I'm gonna have to take the donate link off my page. Actually, let's, can we do that now? Let's see if we can pull this off in real time and so that no one donates. And yeah, that's going to be technically a hit to my, my revenue here, uh, but I'll find another way. So yeah, we're removing that. It's gone. All right. All remnants of Streamlabs are, are gone from the in third person ecosystem. So what, what do you do, right? You, you're a streamer. 
and you're like yeah but i use streamlabs for everything what, what am i gonna do for my alerts what am i gonna do for my streaming software I, I got you fam i got you first off let's talk notifications you want stuff to pop up on the screen this person followed this person subscribed um stream elements they are a a lot less scummy <laughs> service that does have uh, notifications they are more customizable than those found in Streamlabs. it's a little trickier to use but i have a feeling i'm gonna end up on stream elements i will say though they do they have a version of obs that i would not download because that version also sucks just get the regular obs but we'll talk about that in a sec at least their version of obs is a little more upfront in what it is Ian says, and Patreon is doing NFT, so there's basically no ethical way to get money to content creators. Yeah. Uh, okay, moving on. Other, an alternative to a stream elements, Pixel Chat. This is a a company that they, they were around for the Mixer days in particular, and they have a lot of slick looking features and notifications. For example, uh, this notification right here, I already have um pixel chat in there because i like their shout out functionality i i might move to pick everything to pixel chat going forward as well because i've already got this one set up and it looks pretty good so those are two i know there's more out there uh but those are just a couple if you're looking to stream and you like Streamlabs obs um and you've never like i'd say if you've never streamed before and you just want something super simple I would recommend Twitch Studio. It is a version of streaming software that is, it's the basics of like, let, let's walk you through this wizard and we'll set everything up for you and go. And from what I've heard from others who have used it, that it's it's pretty solid and it works just fine as a, a starting tool to get you off the ground. If, if you have streamed before and you have experience with a Streamlabs OBS, I would strongly recommend going to the original OBS. This is the original program that Streamlabs is stolen from. Admittedly, Streamlabs used to have some features that made it better than OBS in certain respects, but OBS has pretty much fixed a lot of that stuff and it's made it better. There are a lot of plugins if you want custom custom effects like faces zoom like the the whole camera thing panning in and out like this all doesn't really happen in Streamlabs, and there's a whole bunch of other effects on my stream that just do not work in Streamlabs at all uh so this is definitely the way to go it runs better on your computer as well uh the big thing with um obs that i hear a lot of complaints about is jet i hold on let me and jet i can't I can't, I know this is an infinite loop of things. Uh, give me a second. Um, oh no. Wait, hold on. There we go. Right, a lot of people say, uh, but Jet, I can't, I don't know how to get the chat and the events and the rewards on my OBS. That's an easy fix. That's such an easy fix. I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Go into your Twitch dashboard. So that is the, where is this page that I had queued up? This page, right? So your dashboard.twitch.tv. And wherever you see a piece of functionality, there's gonna be three dots on the right-hand side. And so let's take this chat, for example, right? So it says my chat, click on this and hit pop out. Now grab this URL at the top, copy that, go back to OBS, and under view, go to docs and custom browser docs. Call this whatever you want, chat to, and stick the link here. You hit apply, bang. Now I've got the chat and all I have to do is just drag it into the side. And now, now I have chat. And then you just repeat that for your notifications, your events, your channel point rewards, all of that you don't even you can put anything in here as well like if you want to put a different website on there you can do that you want your nba scores you like any site anything that helps you out managing your stream you can just put a browser doc in there and you're good 
Uh, brown eyed girl asks, does OBS have delay or is it real time? I'm not sure what you mean by that. Uh, please be more specific. What if you use YouTube? Yeah, uh, stream OBS works for YouTube as well. All right, moving on. So we, we talked about streaming software. If you're looking for overlays and you're like, oh man, but I can make my, my stream look pretty. Uh, here's a couple of sites you can check out. There's Nerd or Die, one of the biggest players in the Twitch streaming overlay game and owned.tv. And these are places that have tons uh, of different designs. They have a bunch of free ones available as well. There's usually promo codes on a number of different places and you're a quick Google search away and I'm sure a number of streamers that you follow probably have promo codes to, to get discounts and stuff on these too. But yeah, you can just start with the free stuff as well. They have free resources and alerts and all that. So you can just get started right away. And I've used like Arcade Pop. I used to use this stuff right here on my stream yeah there was a couple of when i had transitions and stuff it was this exact template right here okay a uh, couple more uh again the the whole like if you if you're one of the people that uses you control your stream on your phone using the stream lab stream deck you can use the Elgato Stream Deck, which gives you the benefit of also being compatible with the physical Stream Decks, and then you can have it as an extra set of buttons. But if you, if you want if you want a Stream Deck and you don't want to have the physical device and just want to use your phone, you can download this for free. And I think there's a limited version of it, but if you pay like a very small amount, you can unlock the whole thing and then just use your phone as a stream controller. If you're looking for a free alternative, I would suggest Touch Portal, which is again, it's it's the Streamlabs Stream Deck, but but free. All right, that doesn't cover you know every single piece of the Streamlabs ecosystem. I know there's a merchant the merchandise piece. Um, you probably do that in Stream Elements too, uh, and other things that Streamlabs has its hand in, but. Uh, if, if you are, you know, as miffed about them being a, a scummy business as I am, you might want to look into cutting them out of your streaming ecosystem and moving to some of these other alternatives, which are and often oftentimes they're just they're better as well. So uh, I encourage you to look into some of these options and you know, consider moving off of Streamlabs 